The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. All right, let's jump around to those specific stocks. How about Apple? It just don't stop. We're at 412. We were at 384. How about $30 we're going to add on the open this morning on Apple? You see the charge higher. It really pops. And what's interesting is, right, you know, you had the numbers out 430-ish. Apple already traded up $5 coming into that, and boom, it pops from about 390 up to 407. It's just creeping higher since then. Amazon, staggering numbers. I think they took in $89.7 billion, almost a billion dollars a day. They were only supposed to take in $81 billion. They earned about $10 a share. They were only supposed to earn a dollar a share. Uh, they priced for perfection, and they almost hit it from 3051 to 3237 right now. You're talking about almost $200. And uh, remarkable, the one-day expected move, I believe it was about $160 that the market was pricing in, folks. And right now, we're at about $187, pretty close to that action. All right, Apple, Amazon, we'll go to Facebook because they crushed it out of the park as well. 234, we're up at about 251 for Facebook. You see the pop initially. We'll go into all of these numbers a little bit more, but just to see the action, I mean, you almost think that the NASDAQ futures could be up even more with these companies. Uh, they represent a staggering level of the market capitalization of the NASDAQ 100. And you have Facebook trading up $15. You put this on some context, we're going to have record highs across the board. So we're going to open at 254, okay, record highs in Facebook. We'll jump to Amazon shares, not quite, 33.44, about $100 away on the all-time highs on Amazon. Apple's going to do it, though. Apple going to open at 411, all-time high at 399, and they announced a four-for-one stock split. So they're going to be priced at about $103 as of the open when they split, not tomorrow, but when they do. Uh, really, you know, making themselves available to the retail trader, pricing it down, easier Entry into the market, less barrier to entry at a $400 share price. Uh, Apple really, uh, maybe they think they have such a, a fan following that they want to allow the individual retail investor greater access to their stock as they were paring it back down. And they're not taking the, the Amazon route, the Google route to go higher in their prices over $1,000 as they're going to be comfortable at about $100 a share on Apple. Okay, Google shares. A little bit of a different story. Down slightly, though, this morning. Uh, strong numbers out of Google. You see the volatility, but it did not hold up to 1586. We're now trading at about 1527, closed at 1531. Putting Google on some action, all time highs. We just made that all time high at 1586. Let's back it up even a bit. Quite the acceleration, and we're going to open at about 1524. So, right near that level in terms of all time highs. All right, jumping around to commodities. Gold had quite an overnight session. Look at this on the daily, weekly, excuse me, weekly. Uh, quite the uptrend. You back it up to basically May of 2019. You're trading at under 1,200. And the dollar, uh, the low of the COVID flash, 1,450. We're now comfortably right at around 2,000, putting gold on a daily chart. There's quite the acceleration. Um, you know, the, 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 these runs from 1800 to 2000 in the span of July 17th. We're still in July, folks. It's two weeks to the day. We're talking about um, July 17th to July 31st, 14 days, and you go from 1800, really 1795, up to 2005 in the price of gold. All right, let's check in on the VIX as this market charges higher. So the VIX this morning, we're going to put this. We're trading about 24.36. We had a low Wednesday of 23.73. Keep your eye on these price levels because I've I got it notated on my charts. 23.54. That's the low we're dealing with in early June. 24.92. That's the low we're dealing with in early July as the market was making highs. You see the VIX very comfortable at these levels, but not comfortable going lower. This morning, the low 23.87. The low on Wednesday, 2373. 
the low talking last week, 23.60 and 23.61, right at these levels. And uh, we've seen a few pops from these levels. The first one up to almost 45, and even this pop in July, we got a big spike to 33.67. So have that one on your radar. Stay tuned, folks. Come back in three minutes. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps positive by eight. NASDAQ futures positive by 117. Really going to be an interesting open for that NASDAQ. It almost seems like we're going to go through the numbers on some of those big four tech stocks with their earnings last night. And it seems like uh, the, the NASDAQ futures and Q futures should be at all time highs when you hear these numbers, uh, but not quite there. So where are we going to go? Dow up 42 points. Before we get into the good of the technology, Chevron I've got up here. So Chevron out with their numbers, pretty staggering losses from 86 down to about 82.75 this morning. $8.3 billion loss for 90 days. They lost $1.59 a share on an adjusted basis. Revenue came in at $13.49 billion. Analysts expected the company to post a loss of 92. So they lost $1.59, 92 cents. Uh, excuse me, they lost $1.59 versus the 92, and they took in $13.49 billion versus an estimate of 22.09 billion. That's a staggering miss. You could be down more, you could argue. That is Chevron. Okay, so let's jump over to some of the tech stocks and Apple. Sales up 11%, getting into the numbers. They got a four for one stock split. 
$59.7 billion in revenue in double-digit growth in products and services. They got the four-for-one stock split going on, so that means, yeah, it's going to trade at about 100 bucks. jumping around to some of the numbers. Um, okay, so that's just talking about the split. This is talking about their numbers. Historically strong quarter. Uh, that's their press release. Got to love that. Here we go. Okay, so $2.58 versus 204 and how about the revenue beats? The revenue beats, whoops, the revenue beats for Apple and Amazon, uh, Facebook, we'll get into too, but just staggering. iPhone revenue, 26 billion versus 22. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving off the dots, which represent hundreds of millions of dollars because they just beat by almost four billion, yeah, more than $4 billion in iPhone revenue. They beat by more than $7 billion in total revenue. Services, right in line, right in line. Uh, iPhone revenue, pretty steady. I mean, uh, pretty steady in a big way. So Facebook, 11% revenue growth, even amid the pandemic slowdown. Their numbers, $1.80 versus $1.39. How about beating by 1.3 billion daily active users? Uh, what is that? That's that's a, an extra 90 million because it'd be 1.79 billion versus 1.7. So 90 million daily active users. They beat by 100 million extra for monthly active users. And average revenue, they beat as well. For Facebook, Facebook average revenue per user, pretty remarkable that, you know, it's tough to grow your user base when you literally have every single person with the phone in the planet on your platform. I kid, but what are they at? Billion? Billion? What are, how many How many people do they have? 2.7 billion? Yeah, that's a lot of people, folks. Uh, Facebook, so now they're, they're raising the revenue per user that they're taking even, even during a pandemic, right? Pretty amazing. Alphabet, 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 Google reports first revenue decline in company history. So their numbers, though, when you look at it, right? Earnings per share, a beat. Revenue, a beat by almost a billion dollars. YouTube, a beat. 3.81 versus 3.78 billion. Google Cloud, slightly down, and traffic acquisition cost, slightly up. So Google, as we mentioned, a little bit down this morning, uh, but strong numbers when you look at the billions and billions that they've taken in, um, but nonetheless. And yeah, this is pretty sagging. So they've added 200 billion in value, these four companies, and they're gonna have a market cap of about five, trillion dollars when things open yeah collect as of the close they're worth 4.9 as they open the four companies alone 5.1 trillion is going to be their market cap combined so you almost can't overstate that all right so in terms of biotech again we got the u.s agreeing to pay sanofi and Glax GlaxoSmithKline 2.1 billion for 100 million doses of coronavirus vaccine. So they're going to pay them up to 2.1 billion to deliver those 100 million doses, more than half of the 1.5 billion we will be used to support further development of the vaccine, including trials with the remainder used for manufacturing and delivery. That's less than two weeks after the governor government said it would pay Pfizer and BioNTech 1.5 billion to produce 100 million doses. And that's great. If there's one area that we should all be gung ho about spending some money in, you want to make sure, you know, normally we do is you'd have the vaccine, right? You'd have it get proven. Then the company would say, okay, now we know it's proven. Now we're gonna build the structures to produce that. And really there's so much riding on it that it is the risk reward as traders out there, as investors, a risk reward play to have those facilities built, even in the event that they don't work. Because if, they, if the vaccine does work, you literally wanna be able to have the ability to turn on the switch immediately and start producing it. And yeah, that's a risk because the vaccine might not work. And then you have preparations that are made for that vaccine that are useless. But when you're dealing with an economic slowdown of what, 32% of GDP. Uh, so that's where you see government hopefully stepping in, increasing that lead time. And uh, hopefully we get over this hump sooner rather than later. Okay. So earnings are at the halfway mark, and it is interesting. As we're talking about, it seems like there's beats all over the place, right? Uh, half of the S&P reporting, 80% of the companies have beaten estimates. Now, the estimates have varied widely, right, in terms of uh, talk about a recalibration of some of those estimates. But earnings beat has been 13.2% above the consensus, way above the historic norm of 3.3%. So a lot of companies out there, including the tech stocks we just had, jumping back to some of them, really crushing it out of the park. And it was, you know, kind of like put up or shut up day for the tech sector, especially 
a lot of a lot of rhetoric had to do with you know the acceleration, Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, um, and they 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 delivered in a big way. Microsoft not out with their numbers, but up about a dollar this morning with the market for Microsoft shares, Amazon shares, thirty two thirty, the high of thirty two sixty two. Google shares off a bit at 15.19 from 15.31 for them, and Facebook shares holding well at 251.51. Okay, let's jump around to some of the other stocks we're usually taking a look at. Disney with some volatility this morning. So Disney, I believe they opened uh, one of their parks. Did they, they got it up? I believe they did. They're opening more parks. Uh, maybe that was a little volatility. Nonetheless, we're opening a bit lower on Disney shares so far. Some of those cannabis stocks really with some volatility earlier in the week. Uh, checking out Canopy Growth. Let's put this on a little longer time frame. There's your volatility. Talk about a charge from $9 up to $22. They come out with their earnings and really disappoint in May. They need a year of recalibration, reorganization. Uh, check out the move we have this week, though. Some serious strength. You were bouncing around about a 50% retracement of that entire move up to the upper bound of 23. We're back right, oscillating around a 382. And man, talk about a charge higher. But just like that, we're at about 1860 in cannabis. Kronos had some big action as well. There you see the pop higher going from about six uh, six twenty to over seven dollars. Aurora Cannabis, I believe. These, I mean, look at these stocks just been pummeled, pummeled. These stocks, uh, Aurora Cannabis. Talk about stock splits, stock splits, and then delivering on earnings. But look at this trail off, right? You got to be careful of these stocks when they're so small. Cash is very hard to come by right now. It's a growing industry. Still very tough to do business in the U.S. You trade up to. I had 1968 and boom, just like that, we're cut in half at 1050 for Aurora Cannabis. And Constellation, the big player in Canopy with a nice uptrend I've talked about a couple times. Uh, they got Corona, they got Miomi, they got uh, they got a bunch going on. Stay tuned folks, we'll be right back in three minutes, see what else you have on tap for Friday trading. We'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, 
Life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We get S&Ps positive by 9, NASDAQ futures positive by 120, the Nikkei overnight down almost 3%. Check out the headline, Japan falls 3% after the U.S. GDP contraction, China's factory activity beats expectations. Big numbers out of there, though, and jumping over to the Eurozone. Eurozone GDP plunging by a record 12 0.1% in the second quarter. German GDP falling 10.1%. Italy sank by 12.4%. France fell by 13.8%. And Spain, 18.5%. So, of course, our numbers yesterday pretty stark. What was it, 32%? They might even have it down there. There it is, 32.9%, the biggest drop. Quite a number. Quite a number. On the earnings front, continuing at Caterpillar shares jump 3% after the Dow component reports better than expected results. Caterpillar posted $1.03 on revenues of $10 billion, both better than what the market was looking for. And uh, they have it down there. Either way, we'll jump over to Caterpillar shares this morning. Caterpillar going to open about a buck fifty higher. There's your action. Look at that. Up to 145, but right now we're at 138 from 136.73. All right, let's jump to Tesla real quick. Tesla shares at 15.17, and, and we'll check in those tech stocks again. Amazon hold the well at 32.29. Apple shares holding at 411.38. Facebook up at 251. And Google negative a bit at 1821. Head on over to the front page of TFNN, folks. This is the last weekend to get action to 50% off on the report I started. Can't believe it's been three weeks already. Rocket Equities and Options Report. I'll have an update later this morning off for subscribers. Great time to sign out. A weekend uh, report, full report out on Mondays along with updates pretty much every day right now. Um, and it won't be the way that way forever, but there's a lot going on in this market. It's earnings season, whenever it's dictated, building a long-term portfolio and looking for some nice option trades, swing trades in the market when they come about. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. You just enter promo code ROCKET, R-O-C-K-T-E-T, R-O-C-K-E-T. -E -E uh, choose that monthly, enter that promo code, and you'll see the savings of 50%. And I appreciate everyone signing up right now. And we will get an update out today, and we'll get one out Monday, and I look forward to the opportunity. Stay tuned, folks. Talk about an opportunity. We got our man Larry Pesavento. He's coming up live next with this market open. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.